Hey, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's session. We are going to discuss about Microsoft Power Platform certifications. Here you can see different codes. These are the certification codes. Let's try to understand each one of these codes and what it is used for. Before even uh, we get uh, into the details of each certification, you are looking at my blog, sfsupport247.com. Here I listed out uh, uh, the different uh, certifications. And let us start with the question why. Why do we pursue a Power Platform certifications? Simple three steps for the career growth. If you are a certified professional, that means you are in high demand. Microsoft respects the certification because this certification costs around $165. And if you are working for a company, they can talk to your HR or your person, they can help you. And if you are already certified on your resume, you can put the, you are certified that really carries value. I can definitely tell you that and validation of your skills once you are certified that means you know the content of that certification you pass that microsoft test that means you know that and interviewer and respect that and opportunities for uh, innovation power platform empowers you to solve complex problems and also real you can uh, discuss with your employer some employers will give salary rises and promotions based on kind of certification that you do let's try to understand each certification there are uh, around six certifications in uh, in the power platform each certification will have a code the first certification is pl900 that's a microsoft power platform fundamentals uh, you know who this certification is for this is for the beginner level certification each certification can have a prerequisite. There are some recommendations and there are some mandatory things. For this PL900, there are no mandatory certifications that you need to complete. Okay, let's click on this link. It takes you to the Microsoft Study Guide. In this uh, Study Guide link, you will have the what is the purpose of this document. Uh, Microsoft lists out all the information. What are the updates to this uh, exam? Is there a Microsoft frequently updates the exam. So it discusses about, hey, are there any updates to the exam that happened? Looks like for this PL900 on June 21st uh, last year, there was um, some updates. And what are the different study resources? This is the very important thing, skills measured. I strongly recommend you to oh, click on this link and try to understand, especially skills at a glance. In this uh, section, Microsoft lists out each topic and how much weight is uh, that uh, is given in the exam questions means if there are 100 questions 20 to 25 questions will be on the microsoft uh, power platform business value uh, like this you can see different weightages i uh, you know specified that information as a link in this blog post you can click on this the next certification is pl200 microsoft this is a functional consultant for power platform here the prerequisite is just a recommendation means if a person who wants to take this uh, PL200 exam, if they know or if they got certified in PL900, it may be better uh, for that person to take uh, this exam, but it's not required. You can uh, as a uh, you know user, you can directly go and uh, sign up for this PL200 exam and take it because this is just a recommendation. It's not a mandatory. Okay, let's click on this. And try to understand more on the functional consultant as uh, discussed let's focus on this skills measured what are the different skills measured for this pl 200 configure the microsoft dataverse 20 to 20, uh, 25 to 30 percent and uh, creating the power apps and manage create and manage the process automation and manage environments this is how uh, the weightage is and you can go in detail to understand how this weightage is distributed there are uh, microsoft provides excellent uh, you know study guides study resources uh, you, as a user you can uh, get a paid training or you can do it uh, on your own with your uh, own pace also okay. let's move on to the next certification pl 300 be a power bi data analyst power bi is one of the components in power platform here you can now click on this and uh, directly go into the skills measure section here you can see prepare the data given this bi is business intelligence power bi is uh, microsoft business intelligence reporting analytics solution here uh, in certification microsoft measures the 
how do you prepare data model the data means uh, how do you configure or clean the data visualize the data means there are different reports or dashboards that you can create and manage and secure how do you secure or administer the power bi those things are all measured here in the power bi pl300 uh, what are the are there any prerequisites looks like uh, there are a pl knowledge is required it is not mandatory okay next certification is pl 400 this is a power platform developer certification for this also programming knowledge like c c sharp and javascript.net and familiarity this is also just preferred familiarity of 200 that is functional consultant this one is preferred but it's not mandatory let's click on this and try to understand what happened let's go back and refresh this again and click on this yes now we go as you know we are going to see what skills are measured skills at a glance for the exam pl 400 so technical design you should be able to design a technical solution build power platform solutions implement apps and any improvements that you can do extend ui user and uh, experience extend the platform develop the uh, develop the integrations so you can uh, do all this developer related activities in the pl 400 as you know microsoft power platform is a low code no code environment but still if you are a developer at heart and want to do customizations you can do a lot of customizations in the microsoft power platform so pl 400 measures all this let's move on to the next uh, that is pl 500 microsoft power automate rpa let's see the requirements uh, prerequisite for this here also there is a experience with the pl 900 or similar foundation knowledge there are no requirements till this point for all these five certifications there is no requirement but there are some recommendations only let's try to understand this pl 500 this and let's click on the skills measured what are the skills measured skills at a glance design automation given this is a power automate there are cloud automations desktop automations all that information you can look at all these uh, different details what skills are measured uh, if you are interested to know what is this 25 to 30 percent weightage means and develop automation 45 to 50 percent develop and manage automation means security administration and fixes and how do you uh, upgrade or uh, you know create a new version managed solutions and all those things will be uh, you know measured in this deploy uh, in this section okay pl 500 let's move on to the last pl 600 microsoft solution architect power platform solution architect here you can see there are prerequisites definition definitely pl 200 or pl 400 it is not only recommended it is required it's a uh, here you can see in this diagram this is what the diagram stands for here you can see microsoft power platform solution architect once you get this certification you are called solution architect expert either in order for you for any person to take this solution architect exam they need to be either functional consult certified functional consultant or certified platform developer okay this is the only certification that is not only recommended but uh, it's required also okay let's click on this pl 600 and let's go to the skills measured section in the skills measured section you can see perform solution uh, envisioning and requirement analysis so as a solution architect you get the requirements based on the requirements you will assess and create the solution means there are different components right you need to as an architect should be able to take which uh, component like either you want to go with a canvas app or uh, you want to go with a model driven app when to use this uh, power automate when we can use the power bi and all different components of this power platform so this expert this is a expert level certification these are the architect a solution carries 35 to 40 percent implement a solution carries 15 to 20 percent so this is the top level certification pl 600 just to quickly wrap it up in this blog post or in this uh, session we discussed about what are the different certifications there are probably six certifications 
and this is a PL900 is a fundamental basic certification. PL200 is a functional consultant, means not that much uh, developer kind of a, a certification. This PL200 is PL300 is on the data side, Power BI data analyst. If you want to go in that road, and PL400 is on the developer side, means if you are coming from the background of the programming and if you are interested, you can go ahead and take this PL400 certification. And PL500 is more on the power automate, uh, you know, that's a RPA. Uh, certification there are different uh, competing products for uh, power automate such as ui path uh, automate anywhere all those are different uh, competitive products but uh, from the microsoft this pl500 assess only this microsoft power automate related things and pl600 is the top and highest level of certification is a solution architect certification there uh, you know either person need to be pl200 a functional consultant as a uh, or a developer these are the prerequisite for to take this certification as depicted in this thanks for tuning in hope uh, you get certified in one of uh, our uh, the certifications pl900 start with pl900 and if you are really want to go now you can go to pl600 and solution architect and people are very well paid around 150 to 200 uh, k per year salaries will be there for this pl600 certified uh, architects on the power platform side see you in my next video bye for now